Hello everyone, this is Rahul Bawar and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss an important and interesting interview scenario that was asked in Oracle. Okay, so the question was like, how many customers are there who have placed one order or how many number of customers who have placed second two orders? Like how many number of customers do I have who have placed three orders? So in today's video, we are going to attempt to answer this question. Okay, so stay tuned and let us find out. And while I do so, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe because every day I'm going to post a video which is revolving around your interview questions related to Tableau or scenario based questions. So now let us get started. So to understand the question here, I want to find out number of orders each customer has placed okay like uh, if a customer is placing one order how many like that customers do i have two orders a customer is placing how many number of customers do i have like that who are placing two orders so for that it is very easy if you understand if if not it will become very complicated so we can achieve this using an lod expression so i'm calling it as number of number of customers per order so and what i'm doing for each customer so i'm using fixed lod fixed of customer name so how how should we read this for each customer give me number of orders placed that's it this is the first step that you need to know so many of us will get till here but so like i always say we need to understand the nature of data we need to understand the data type that we need to have so we need to understand whether i should take uh, an aggregated field of this or a dimensional field of this that is when you will become a true data analyst okay so i'm just creating this and now if you see here because it is generating a number, Tableau has automatically classified that as a measure. But I don't want that to be aggregated. I want that to be a dimension. So I'm just converting that into dimension. And if I place it here, you see, I have 17 such. So I have customers who are placing one order, two order, three order, four order, and a maximum of 17. That is what it is giving. So for each customer, it is giving me orders, right? So 17 is the maximum number where a customer has placed order. Now we need to know how many customers are falling in each bucket. So simply just take your customer name here. And if I drop it here, and the trick is to convert this into an aggregation. That's it. Measure and count. This is your result. Now, I have 27 customers who are placing one order. I have 143 customers who are placing two orders or maybe seven, uh, 1500 customers who are placing seven orders. This is the frequency of them. Okay. So I hope this question was interesting. If you like it, don't forget to comment, like, and share. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.